Alrighty, here's a quick part two for the spring constants. Two things I want to look at. So spring constants part two. Um, I want to look at a graph and, and ways to solve different problems. Before we look at just how to calculate k, but what if you're given k, then what else can you calculate? That's going to be the question for today. Um, so first I want to look at a graph, and this graph is going to be very simple. It is a force and elongation graph. So on my x-axis here, I'm going to put elongation. And this is going to be in meters. And then on the y-axis here, I'm going to put my force, which is in newtons. And then I'm just going to draw a line, because it really doesn't matter. Um, and this line will actually start at point zero, zero. And this is because if we apply no force, if no force is applied to the spring, then the spring will not stretch out. So that's why it starts at zero, zero. But then just for our spring here, we're going to apply um, 9.8 newtons of force, and it is going to stretch out a tenth of a meter. 9.8 newtons, da, 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 da. this is 0 0.1 meters. And then I can come back down here and at 4.9 newtons, because it's a linear relationship, this will be 0 0.05 meters here. Um, some other things to notice about this graph. What do we get? So when we look at a graph like this, two things I want to know. Um, besides looking at the graph, what can I determine by the slope? And what can I determine by the area under the curve? And so from the slope, the slope would be force over meters over here. So and my change in y over change in x. And my so my slope is going to equal k. So I'm just going to write m equals k because the slope of this line will equal k. So the slope here equals 98. Even though it doesn't look that steep, the scale is off. Um, and then what does the area represent? So to find the area, we would take 1 half base times the height. So 1 half times meters times force times newtons. And so we get newton meters here. And here we have newton meters. So remember, force, or not force, work, equals force times the distance, which is going to be the same thing here, measured in newton meters. So we can determine the work by the area under this line here. Um, so that's some things to learn about the graph. And then I want to look at different ways of solving this equation. Once again, it's all going to be determined off of this k equals fx. But just keep in mind that you can, if you don't know, if you know k and you know how long you stretched, then you can determine your force as well. So using some algebra to rearrange, using what you're given, rearrange the thing, rearrange the formula and solve for that. So if I know my k is 0.1 and I know it stretches 0 0.05, um, or my k is, excuse me, is 98, and I know it stretches 0 0.05 here meters, then I know that my force is 4.9 newtons. Um, so that's a different way to look at these in calculating k. I hope that was helpful.